This came from Target as well. I think it was with the winter stuff, so you may still be able to find it in, on clearance, but this was a cool... Are you serious? going on guys I hope that everyone had a great holiday I hope that everyone was able to relax and get stuff done and just enjoy the time with your family and friends obviously you have realized that I did not get videos up over break like I swore I was going to let me explain what happened the first day of my break was Saturday I had a migraine all day long I wasn't able to do anything I was completely out of commission Sunday I still had the migraine in the morning and then Sunday night I ended up getting sick and I was sick for the entire next week I was sick until Christmas and by sick, I mean I was sitting on the couch not able to do anything. Like, I had zero energy. I just felt like complete crap, to be honest. So I wasn't able to really do anything during that time. I wasn't able to film. I wasn't able to edit. I wasn't able to get products up. So I'm sorry, but that was probably my body's way of telling me that I needed to take a break. So it's okay. Um, after that... It was Christmas Eve and Christmas, and I spent that with my family, obviously, which was actually really nice. Then the day after Christmas, I left to go over to the western shore of Maryland. I live on the eastern shore of Maryland, but I'm going to be moving to around the D.C. area at the end of this school year. So I was staying over there, apartment hunting, trying to get some of those details worked out, so I at least had an idea of where I wanted to end up. So I wasn't able to get a whole lot done during those days as well. Then that brings me to, let's see, I got home... Friday night, Saturday was yesterday. Today is Sunday. So yesterday, I basically spent the day just getting laundry done, getting cleaning done, all of that good stuff. Today is Sunday, January the 1st. I went grocery shopping this morning, and now I am finally able to film a video, and then I have to lesson plan because I have no idea what I'm doing this week. So I am excited for this video. I am going to be doing a what's in your teacher bag video. This has been highly requested, so I'm really, really happy that I finally have a chance to do it. So the timing for this video actually worked out really, really well because one thing I always like to do before I go back after winter break is to clean out my teacher bag because let's face it, I end up throwing just random stuff in there and it gets kind of really messy, and I like to go through and just kind of have a fresh start when I go back in January. So I actually went ahead and did that earlier today. So I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I keep in my teacher bag. So here is my teacher bag. This is a, th oh, it's heavier than I thought it was. Ooh, this is a 31 bag and I got this two years ago. So I got this after my first year of teaching and I don't know the name of the style of bag, but I will figure it out and I'll put the link to it down in the description or I'll put it down here somewhere. But I got it two years ago. It has held up really, really well. Um, you know, nothing's like ripping or tearing. Obviously there's like little strings here or there. One problem that I have, I need to wash it. And actually maybe I'll try to do that tonight since I'm gonna take everything out of it to show you anyway. I need to wash it because I had an incident where I had, I think, I think it was sweet and sour sauce. I'm not positive, but it was in one of the pockets. And unfortunately it ended up exploding. And I, to be honest, that happened like a year ago and I've done nothing about it. I haven't cleaned it out. I just don't use that pocket. That's really embarrassing. This is a judgment-free zone. You can't judge me. It's been one of those things where it just happened. I didn't do anything about it and then it's stayed that way. So whatever. My goal is tonight to clean this bag. So we'll see if that actually happens. The reason I really, really like this bag is because it has so many pockets on the outside. So, oh gosh, I have three pockets on this side. One, two, three, one here on the end two more on this side on either side, and then another one on the end. So I really like having all of those pockets. Plus, it's just a really good size to carry a lot of my books and things that I take home, but it's still easy to transport. So I definitely recommend this bag. If you are a teacher and you don't have a teacher bag, first of all, I commend you. Like, I think that's awesome. If you're able to not have to bring stuff home, that's great. But if you're anything like me, you probably have a teacher bag, or if you're in college and you're an education major, I recommend you get a bag, and I recommend you spend money to get a nice bag. My first year of teaching, I had a really crappy bag, and it didn't hold up, and it just wasn't worth it. So I know the 31 bags are not like super, super cheap. Um, they're not super expensive either. They're kind of a good middle ground, which is why I like it. I like the material. I like that it's like a 
I don't want to say cloth. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's just a very good heavy duty material. So I definitely recommend this. And again, I'll have it down in the description for you. So I guess I will just start with the pockets that are on the outside and show you what I keep in those. Like I said, one of them does not get used because it has sweet and sour sauce in it. Um, and actually the other one, I think this one has a sweet and sour sauce. I don't use this one either currently. I had a bunch of crap in there, but I took it out. So I like to have that option so that if I need to carry something home extra, I do have that as an option. Um, you'll also notice that this one on the side this is good for carrying drinks right now it is empty but a lot of times I will carry coffee or a water bottle or something in there the other side it has the same style pocket and this is actually a like receipt organizer that I want to say I got a Dollar Tree but this is where I keep all of my receipts for stuff that I buy from my classroom um, now these are just receipts from things that I have bought and like brought to my classroom I have another one of these that I keep at home for all of my receipts but it is important if you are a teacher um, or if you're an education major and you're not a teacher yet I definitely recommend you keep all of your receipts even though you can only write off $250 and we all know that we spend way more than that it's good to have your receipts and especially if you have like another business like TPT it's good to have receipts for that as well because there are other things you can write off for that next I will show you the front pockets um, so this middle pocket is empty this is where I put my phone and this is also where I put my keys once I get to school this pocket has just a couple odds and ends I do have clear scotch tape because this seems to come in handy a lot I also have a glue stick just because you never know when you might need that and then I have a whole bunch of different binder clips I like these really big jumbo ones for holding a lot of paper but I also have some smaller ones in here as well and I also think I have some paper clips and stuff like that at the bottom this pocket over here is where I keep all of my markers so I have the sharpie flip chart markers and the mr. sketch markers these are definitely my favorite I recommend them I keep anchor chart paper at home so that I'm able to make anchor charts whenever I feel like it at home and then I just roll them up and bring them to school so I like to keep those markers so that I have access to them when I'm here and I feel like making an anchor chart so before I actually open it up and show you the inside I will show you this thing that I have on the outside I think it's upside down there we go um, so this was actually a present from my grandmother for Christmas but I thought it was a really good idea so this has a light on one side um, which is really good because a lot of times when I leave school it is dark outside so it's nice to have the other one is an alarm so just a safety thing um, unfortunately my school is not in the best area the apartment complex that's right next door has barbed wire around it if that tells you anything so that is a really good thing for me to have just for safety because I do end up leaving school normally the last one leaving school and it's normally dark when I leave school so now I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's on the inside one thing that I do take to school with me and my teacher bag every single day is my laptop I have a Mac and at school we have PCs so I do have a school laptop I leave it there because I'm not really a big fan of using it it is hooked up to like my document camera and my projector so I do need to use it but all of my actual work I do on my MacBook this case came from Amazon and I do have the link to it in my Amazon store as always the link to that is always in the description so this is just my MacBook Pro and then I also keep in here my flash drives you're gonna make fun of me again I have three different flash drives because I like to keep all of my stuff separate so one is for TPT one is for like my actual classroom stuff and then one is for everything else this is like a super old like USB hub that I have from like middle school it's really embarrassing it's really dirty and gross but it gets the job done because I can plug them all in at the same time and then I also keep in here my external hard drive if you're looking to get one of these this is a Seagate I will add it to my Amazon store as well I definitely recommend this um, this is actually where all of my stuff for YouTube goes because it takes up a lot of space so I definitely recommend you get an external hard drive and back up all of your stuff if you're not already doing that the next thing that I have in here is one of these organizers oh it's got cat hair all over it Ugh, I'm sorry one of these organizers I think this originally came from Walmart but I really like that it has a little string closure and then it just opens up and it has all of these different compartments and I like it because it's big and it holds a lot of paper this is typically how I take home any papers that need to get graded I put them in there it helps me to keep them organized and it helps keep them from getting lost in my bag which I have a bad habit of doing or just from getting all crinkled up um, I don't like that at all so I like to keep them in there and it keeps them nice and organized kind of going along with that I also have one of these this is just like a document holder or something I don't know what it's actually called I think I got this maybe from the dollar spot maybe from big lots 
I'm not sure, but it's just a real simple plastic sleeve um, and it has like the closure on the front. But this is typically where I put any papers that need to be copied. So a lot of times I will print out like one copy at home and then I'll take it to school in the morning and actually make copies on the copy machine. So I typically put them in there just to keep them from getting crinkled. Next thing is kind of boring. This is just my math book. Like I said, my school uses everyday mathematics. This is like my Bible for that because it's my first year teaching it. Everything is new to me. So I do take this home every single day. Not that that's too exciting. The next thing that I have in here is my Erin Condren planner, which I did a review of at the beginning of the school year. I'm going to be honest, I haven't used it as much as I probably should considering it's very expensive. I don't think I've written in here since like the end of October. Again, don't judge me. I need to get back into using it. However, part of what I've done over break in the little bit of time that I have done work is I'm working on my own like lesson plan binder. I plan on featuring that in a video like maybe next weekend, maybe the weekend after, hopefully next weekend though, um, because I realized that this doesn't get used because it just doesn't work exactly the way that I want it to. I'm very specific with the way that I plan. So I will show that in a video coming up soon. I'll show you how I plan. If you use Erin Condren and you love it, I'm envious because I wish that I loved it, but it just doesn't quite work out the way that I want it to. So honestly, I don't use that that often. I probably can just leave it here if we're being honest. But next thing that I have is just this little clipboard. Um, I like to keep a small clipboard in here just because I never know when I might want to work on stuff. And I like to have this as an option to grade papers or anything like that. And I like that it's a small size so it doesn't take up a lot of room. I got this at Home Goods. It was only a couple of dollars. Next is a notebook. Um, I always like to have just a notebook to jot down whether it's to-do lists or um, my lesson plans for the next day. I write a lot of just crap in here. So I like to carry a notebook with me everywhere. I actually just got this one. I think it's also from Home Goods, but I really, really liked it. If you'll notice, almost everything I have is like black and gold. I love black and gold. So this is just a plain notebook that I use for that. Um, next thing that I have is this organizer, also black and gold, also from Home Goods. Um, but this is where I keep all of my chargers and things like that. So dang. There we go. Um, it just opens up and it keeps all of my chargers. So this is actually a 10 foot charger for like my iPhone. This is another charger for my camera just in case. And then here is another wall plug for my iPhone and then headphones. I like to keep those just in case. Um, I do also keep a phone charger in my car and I was getting really tired of running out to my car whenever I needed to charge my battery. So I figured by keeping this organizer in there, it had all my chargers all in one place. Next thing that I have in here, it's not super exciting it's just a pencil bag but I got this at the Target dollar spot recently actually so this is only three dollars you can probably still find it um, I have several flare pens in here because those are my favorite pens to use um, I have just like a regular Crayola marker because I do like to grade with those sometimes I keep a sharpie in here um, and then I have just several other like pens I have some sharpie pens and other pens just a lot of pens I have if you're a teacher and you don't have a lot of pens, you're doing something wrong. Um, I also have, this is like an eraser. Not that I have any pencils in here, but you know. Um, a highlighter without the cap. There's the cap. Um, I have two highlighters. And what is this? Another pen. Shocker. Um, and then I just have some paper clips. Not that I even use paper clips that often, but somehow they find their way into my bag. And some more like small binder clips because these are my favorite way to put papers together. So the last thing I have in here is this clutch. This came from Target at the dollar spot as well. I think it was $3. It was in with the winter stuff, so you may still be able to find it on clearance. But this is where I keep a lot of like my toiletry type of items because we all know that it's just nice to have those. So I do keep in here a small thing of tissues because you never know. Um, I do also have a small first aid kit. I probably picked this up at like Walmart or Target, but I think that's good to have on hand as well. I have a small thing of hand sanitizer. I have a small thing of deodorant, which I also keep this in my desk as well. So I just like to have two because you never know. Um, I have a small chapstick. I have some feminine products because those are always nice to have. Um, I have a nail file because I always seem to need one of those. I have just a small thing of like perfume. Um, what is this? Floss. That's also necessary. And then I have, oh, hold on. I have hair ties and I think bobby pins 
because those are always necessary as well. And the last thing is just this little medicine container. I took off the label. This is where I keep like ibuprofen, um, Tylenol, migraine medicine, all of that is right in here. So I always have it just in case. So that is everything that I keep in my teacher bag. If you have anything else you like to keep in yours and it's something I didn't mention, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I promise I read every single comment. I love hearing from you guys. I don't always get a chance to respond to every comment, but I promise I do read them. I love hearing from it. At this time, if you haven't already given the video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it if you did. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. I also want to take a minute to thank you guys so much for giving me such great feedback on my vlog videos that I've been doing. I'm so happy to hear that you guys really like them. I enjoy filming them, so I'm really happy to hear that, and it's definitely something I want to continue doing. Right now, my goal is to get up one vlog video per week, just doing like a week overview. For me, that seems to make the most sense. Um, however, if they are too long for you guys, please let me know, because I know the last one was like 45 minutes long, which is absolutely insane. I don't expect anyone to watch it all the way through. If you did, you are a saint, and you deserve a prize. But if you are watching them, I really, really appreciate it, guys. I love being able to get feedback from you guys. And honestly, reading your comments has given me so much more inspiration as a teacher and has given me so much motivation. And I just am so appreciative of it. So thank you so much if you are watching my videos and you're commenting and you're liking and you're subscribing. I appreciate you so much. I do have a lot of really good ideas for videos coming up. It's just a matter of actually filming them and getting the time, but I promise they are coming. Like I said, my next video, Besides a vlog, I will probably do a vlog between now and then, but after that, I do plan on doing one all about lesson planning and how I lesson plan and how I organize it and all that good stuff. I also have one coming up on vocabulary and how I teach that and how I organize that and all that good stuff. Um, so if you have any other ideas for videos, please continue to give them to me because I definitely listen. That's where the idea for this video came from. So I definitely appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I feel like I've said that a million times, but I just want you guys to know how appreciative I am. I hope everyone has a happy new year and I will see you guys in my next video.